Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, guys? Today we are grading every single all Madden card that came out today. A bunch of super good top tier cards came out, and that's just what an all Madden drop is a bunch of top tier names, a bunch of really good cards, position, you know, top position kind of cards. Before we get started though if you are in the 50 percent of people yes you right now most likely are in the 50 percent of people who watch the videos and don't subscribe you may not even know it head down there hit that subscribe button let's change that right now um the shout out for today's video goes to my man cooper for commenting the emoji on last video and if you want a chance to be shouted out in this one let's comment the tree emoji but uh yeah let's just get started with the 88 overalls i'm not gonna dive into each 88 overall but throughout the promo, throughout the field pass, you are going to get options to pick an 88 overall BND player. And if you want one that's actually going to play for you, it's either going to be John Runyon or Derek Thomas. 72 speed on John Runyon, really good. And he's got, you know, 90 impact block, which is good even for an 88 overall. Uh, he could legitimately play on a lot of teams. And also Derek Thomas um, doesn't, hit any, doesn't hit any thresholds. If I had to pick one, I would lean more towards John Runyon um for the 88s but you know perfect trades for Derek thomas which you're gonna see i'm gonna talk about his full card in a second he's a demon uh but let's just get started with isaac bruce isaac bruce how do you get this card you get him from beating the all madden season um the, he's the head-to-head -head hero you beat you, you know you win that and you get the 90 overall isaac bruce no one has got him yet so we don't know what his price tag is gonna end up being but you can either get this card for free or you can buy them off the auction house probably a week or two from now or a week from now. I don't know how many, I don't know how many are going to be in circulation. I have no idea. I would imagine he'll probably be pretty similarly priced to the Darren Waller card that we saw for ultimate kickoff. But uh, yeah, 91 speed, 88 acceleration to me. He's right in there with, you know, Garrett Wilson and Devontae Adams and Christian Kirk and Jamar Chase and Odell Beckham and DeAndre Hopkins and all these guys with, you know, 90, 91 speed and two thresholds. Um, I would probably would just toss you know, Isaac Bruce into that. So with that being said, I am going to give Isaac Bruce an A rating. Uh, no, A minus. Let's go A minus for Isaac Bruce. He's not, you know, he's only one threshold. Good speed though. Good physicals at six foot. Let me actually pull this over a little bit so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, six foot with 91 speed. I do like Isaac Bruce as a card. And most likely, I'm, I'm either going to try to grind for him or I'm going to buy him off the auction house because I have a Ramstein team. He'll definitely see my field. Next up is Reggie White. If Reggie White is interesting because this card is... <laughs> you know over 90 in both in, in both pass rush abilities so finesse and power moves has perfect traits yes 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 across the board but again you know on the for edge rushers you want to have speed so if you are going to use reggie white i would use him more as like an interior lineman defensive tackle he does get inside stuff and he could just be an absolute havoc in the middle he definitely could end up being that so if you are going to pay the you know the one mil price point for reggie white I would probably use my defensive tackle, but this card, I am going to give him an A, not give him an A plus because of the speed. I wish it was like 88, you know, with a lot of these top, like even nine, you know, somewhere up a little bit higher for Reggie White, but um, use my defensive tackle. This card's going to be super top tier, super nice. Um, so I'm going to give Reggie White the A rating. Um, as far as, is this card worth buying? Probably not uh, for an offer a million. I wouldn't touch this card for a million. Um, I, I wouldn't touch many cards for a million. Next up, we have our first set feet lead quarterback in the game, and that's Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner, 70 speed, 70 acceleration. I made a video on this card already. I already used him. Um, link in the description. Or not, not in the description, but just go click on the channel if you want to see him in action. Um, but Kurt Warner, obviously, he's going to be a pocket QB. Has really good, um, he's got good release, and he's good from the pocket. Um, you know, and, of course, he does get set feet lead in Hot Route Master. Whichever one you want to run, it's your choice. Um, but I'm going to give Kurt Warner an A. You know, we still don't have that fast. You know, it's not going to, he's not, his play style is not going to fit everybody. Even me, I know I'm going to have a hard time adjusting because I've been using Mike Vick. I've been using guys like Johnny Mansell and the faster QB. So going to the Kurt Warner, turning, you know, switching your whole offense basically without QB runs or anything, pretty big, pretty drastic change for me. But, you know, Kurt Warner, probably the best pocket passer QB in the game. I'm going to give him an A rating. Um, you know, this card's really good. And for 600K, 650, not a bad buy if, you, if you're someone that really does enjoy someone like, if you really enjoy uh, Joe Montana, you know, it's a good buy for Kurt Warner. Um, and, and yeah, he can get hot round master, of course. Next up, we have Derek Thomas. So this Derek Thomas card is nutty. He is literally insane. You see right here, yes, 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 across the board for the trades. He's the best pass rusher right now in this game. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 91 strength, 91 power moves, 86 finesse. I wish it was 90, 90, but he's still right now the best pass rusher in the game or edge rusher in the game, whatever. 90 tackling, 92 hit power, 92 blocks and 88 impact block. This card right here is an A+. He's an A+, right now. Looking at the current meta of edge rushers, he is the best. He, he simply is. So, Derek Thomas, dog. 
you know, 600 and what's he going for? Six. Oh, I guess the prices are kind of coming back up at 650 ish, probably what all these cards are going for. Um, you know, it depends on your coin stacks looking like, but he is the best edge rusher in the game. So, A plus for our man, Derek Thomas. Now we have John Runyon. 74 speed you guys know i just i just i you know his speed on lineman gets me going and john runyon has 74 speed 77 acceleration at right tackle um and I, yeah he's the best right tackle in the game right now i'm also going to give john runyon an a plus as well with 92 uh impact block and good run block stats um good pass block there too and uh, high motor yes yeah. so john runyon's gonna get to that second level super fast with that 74 speed um, he is one of the faster offensive linemen in the game. Of course, the fastest right now is Charles Cross, but John Runyon with these stats and that speed is right behind him. This card is really, really nice. Next up, we have a new name in Madden. I can't remember the last time this guy was in the game or you know, maybe it was before I started playing this game as much as I do now, but Ken Riley, 92 speed, 89 acceleration, 90 zone, 90 man, sorry, 92 man with 90 press, 91 hit power. To me, he's kind of like a baby night train lane. That's what this card basically is. Um, because you know, he's got good hit power and he's, and he's more man favored. He actually is probably better for more people than night train land because night train, we all know has that kind of low, um, he has that low zone coverage with 85. So it's kind of tough for him to hit a threshold, but Ken Riley, he, he already hits 90 hits 90 for press. Um, you could argue maybe this guy over night train land, but night train has the better build at six foot one. So Ken Riley, I'm going to give him an A rating. I think he's a good card. Um, and, uh, you know, good play rec, good COD. He's going to play solid for the corners right now in the game. But where does he stack up against, like, you know, I guess he, he's probably better than Rebus because of the hit power, probably better than Jair because of the hit power. Um, I like having hit power on a corner. Like, in today's gameplay, I forced a fumble using Night Train Lane because I like having that extra hit power on DBs. It just it just feels nice um, on cornerback. So I do like Ken Riley's card. I'm going to give him an A there. Uh, let's go back to our players here. We now have Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott, this card's an A+. Plus. This card is an A+. Plus. Ronnie Lott cards, when they come out and they drop him like this, he's a run stopper that can play slot corner, can play safety, and, and can be your, and if you're running a zero blitz with like your corners or something like that, Ronnie Lott can legitimately play man coverage. He legitimately can. He hits that threshold, hits the zone threshold, 88 press, 88 blocks, and 84 pursuit, 82 hit power, 86 tackling, 92 speed with 88 acceleration, 92 jumping, 91 COD. This card can be your user, can be your over the top, can be your slot corner be the guy you blitz with it doesn't matter how you want to use ronnie lot i think he might be i know kurt's great and all but i think he might be the best card that came out today i think ronnie lot clear a plus either him or Derek thomas to me are the best cards that came out today now uh, this ronnie lot card is insane no matter how you want to use it, no matter how you want to play him and for the abilities he does get inside shade for ap or deep route or deep out zone or acrobat whichever you want to run and if i, I didn't i didn't really miss any other crazy abilities on these cards a lot of them to me just aren't worth it maybe nasty streak could be worth it but I know I did skip over a couple um, of the players' abilities, but to me, a lot of them just aren't worth it. Like, inside shade, 4 AP is crazy. Um, you know, Acrobat, it's not that great. I, I might give it I might give it another try here, especially in man-to-man. -man, see how it plays. Might give Acrobat another stab. Um, but in, by the way, yeah, Derek Thomas does get... Um, he does get Edge Threat Elite as well, which is Edge Threat as well as Under Pressure baked in. And also, inside stuff's pretty nasty on Derek Thomas too, so... Um, yeah, that, that's not going to change the ratings. I just kind of forgot to show you that. Um, next up, we have the LTD Mike Urban. I'm going to get started with the abilities here. He does get 4 AP route tech, deep in, deep out, and acrobat for a receiver. Um, but uh, Mike Urban, what are my thoughts on this card? 92 speed. He is, yeah, he is the uh, he's the fastest wide receiver in the game right now before today. So Mike Urban at six foot two um, hits hits three thresholds. Yeah, 93 short, 90 mid, 90 deep route running. Um, there's a real chance that he will be the best wide receiver in the game. Um, over DK Metcalf. I am going to probably give Mike Irvin a try. The only problem is that price tag a little bit steep. And even if he is the best wide receiver in the game, is he worth 1.2? I don't think so. But, you know, 92 speed, 80 acceleration, three thresholds, high short route running as well with those abilities. If you want to run them, it's up to you. Even after the catch. Yeah, I probably would say Mike's best wide receiver in the game. Yeah, I, I, Mike, A plus card. Is he worth it though? Definitely not. Not for 1.2. I wouldn't touch him. And finally, we have Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison, three thresholds as well with 92 speed. 90 acceleration, six foot with a 90 juke move. Marvin Harrison cards always play super well. So they're kind of unique cards. So uh, Marvin Harrison, I would give um, let's give Marvin Harrison also an A plus. I'm gonna give him an A plus too. Um, so what well, we have four A plus cards today: Marvin Harrison, Michael Urban, Ronnie Lott, and Derek Thomas. A really good content drop. I'm looking forward to part two. I believe it's gonna be next week. Looking forward to that. Um, but a really really good content drop from Madden, and you know. If you can get these guys, they, they should slowly kind of creep down to 600. As time goes on, they'll get cheaper and cheaper. But, you know, right now, 
Lesnar did one of those A plus cards. A lot of them probably aren't worth it. And Mike Irvin's an A plus too, but I, I wouldn't buy him for 1.2. I just wouldn't do that. I just a little crazy. So uh, yeah, let me know down in the comment section which cards you're gonna be adding to your team. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.